hello guys welcome to my channel so i am making this video for my client so it is just a simple video how to add in-app messaging services in your application so that you can market your apps and send some notifications and give another applications link to your users so see this tutorial okay this is very simple so just go into the android studio first and go to file and new project and here you will create a new project give it any name and uh, just choose the language as java and select minimum api 5.1 i have selected it you can choose anyone and make sure you use that use android x artifice and name any application that you want and click on finish i i am not going to do that because i have already created an application so that we can proceed further so this is the application just when you this is a simple just text view in our layout firebase in-app messaging this is just a text view just click on this and run this application and you will see like this firebase in-app messaging demo and firebase in-app messaging okay now next step is to connect our application to the firebase so you have to go to the firebase console now go to google and you have to write firebase dot google dot console and go to firebase console from here you need to just create add and project okay you give it any project name but here you have to create a project but i'm not going to do that because i have another project where i can connect it with my application so go to the new firebase tutorial when you create a project you will be having this kind of card you just click on this and you need to add your applications okay so in my project new firebase tutorial i have two project i'm just gonna add my this application that i'm connecting just adding this application and just selecting this platform android okay because i'm making this application in android platform so click on android and give this a name okay so this name you will find this name in here go to manifest okay manifest android manifest.xml here you will find this package just select all of those just copy and paste it here so this is your application package name give it any name like in app messaging and you need to find debug signature certificate so you need to find that so we need to go to this android studio again and when you go there just go to gradle app android sign in reports just double click on sign in reports and here you will have sha key sha1 so this is the key that you need just copy this one Control c to copy and go to this dashboard and just paste it here okay and you just need to register your application with this so once you register your application you just need to download google services.json just click on this and it will start downloading suppose i'm taking it on my desktop So just copy this json file so this json file is here so just copy this json file and go to android studio project and you need to go to just click on this android desktop button and go to project level click here and go to app level project firebase in-app messaging demo this is our project name and here you will find app folder go there and in app folder you just need to paste that json file that you just copied so this is the json file this is how your application will connect will know what is going on in here okay so very simple just add this google json file and just click on this button to sync and this will sync all of these things in your application now you just click now you just go to the firebase android app dashboard and just click next 
and you need to add your firebase sdk because you are working on firebase so you need to add all those sdk now let's just copy this thing just click on this so there are two two important things one is project level build gradle another is app level build gradle so just go to the project level build gradle and click on this button and just copy this path google services and go to the android again and here you will give, go to the build level gradle file so i'm just pasting my com.google.gms google services from my firebase in my build.gradle file this first one okay so i'm adding this library this library and just click on sync now so it will take some time to sync just wait it is very simple and easy so make sure that this version our my build.gradle version is 3.4.0 the first one and the second one is 4.3.3 this is the version of google services that i'm using now you have to go to the build.gradle which is module app this one this second file just go there and you need to add some dependency here so in my app level build.gradle project file i'm just copying this apply plugin com.google.gms.google services copy this one below okay so paste it below in this dependency then you go to this implementation com.google.firebase firebase analytics and the next thing you do is just go to next and you can skip this step so click on this skip and you just need to go in app messaging so this is the app that we are working on so go to the in app messaging this is the main feature that we want to use in app messaging click on this and you need to create your first campaign so click on this button to get to the campaign so this is the dashboard where you can add many things okay add all of your content so before that you need to add the dependency so where do we get the firebase in-app messaging dependency here is the thing that you find you just click java android or if you use kotlin you just click on this but i'm i'm using java so i'm using this dependency okay so these two things the first one okay com.google.firebase firebase in app messaging display this one just copy this so don't worry i will be uploading all my project in my github repository so that you can download and see what is happening so and you need to also add one more dependency which is firebase core so i'm just copying this one and just add firebase core okay so this is the thing I'm using. Just add the latest version, click on this and click on this bulb button and change it to 17.4.0, which is the latest version. And for Firebase Core, we just do the same thing. Just add, just click on this and change to 17.4.0. So this is the latest version that I'm using. Now click on sync now to sync all of your dependency with your project. So these are the dependencies are so important. This Firebase Analytics, Firebase Core is must. You must have to apply this line. And also the Google Firebase in-app messaging. This thing is also important. So these three lines are the main thing. Now it will take some time to sync. So let's do it. Gradle syncing is finished. So now let's do the main thing, okay? So after setting all the things that you need to go to in-app messaging, okay? just click on in-app messaging and create your first campaign so this is the place where you see what is going on on your device what are the things that you want suppose i want our layout as model or image if you want to send only image you can do this it will style like this or if you want to add top banner it will look like this or if you want to add model it will look like this and if you want to add card it will look like this so you have many options just I'm gonna use this card because I like the card option so in your background color you can change any color as your background I'm just using the default one you can set message title suppose this is first 
message suppose this is my first message you can add any messages here just add the body we have we have new application for you so the, in my body i have said we have a new application for you this is the place where you market your existing application with your users all the users who will be installing your application will see this marketing we have a new application for you go to the app okay so you can set any image url suppose suppose i want to send this image so suppose i want to use this image okay just copy this and copy image address right click and copy image address this is just for demo purpose not any commercial okay so then you just go your dashboard and add your image url just paste it so this is your image and this first message is coming from message title and we have new application for you go to app is coming from this body so whatever you will write here will go there and this is the image url that i have just copied and it will send in the card so it looks how beautiful it is and you can also set button which is go suppose we are want to go in the application that i have created you can check the text color suppose i like the uh, i like the blue one more so this is my card so go play store go my play store okay it will when you click on this go play store it will go to your existing application that you want to market okay suppose just go to google and go to play store suppose i want to send notification suppose i created the clash of clan suppose and i want to do all the linking of my clash of clan so just copy this link of my google play store of my application clash of clan just copy this link and just paste it here okay and when you click on this button it will go to the play store of your application this application okay so you must have to provide your link here you can add more button if you like as you can see you can add secondary button but i'm not using it so this is my main button next so next is your target campaign name enter short campaign name audience so you can add campaign description and eligible users are select any application suppose add this one com.example.firebase in-app messaging demo this is your applications thing okay your application package name firebase in-app messaging demo so click on this and just click next next then you have the scheduling option you can show these messages based on some schedule okay suppose this date or this time you can change all of this thing but i'm not using this so i just want to send this now okay so add foreground event and you can add another event suppose on app launch when users launch their app it will show the notification to them on app launch okay and also on foreground so just add those things once per device for this campaign okay once for device means that only one in each device you can show this notification or in-app messaging and just click on save you can save this at draft and preview this just i'm not i'm not going to do that i'm going to click next and next everything is actually optional you can add this field or you cannot it is up to you and just click publish and see your campaign successfully saved so now what you need to do just start your application so you just need to use app here and click on run button and it will show all the things in your android devices so let us wait uh, and see what is happening here and is it working perfectly or not
so as you can see your image url that you have copied your first title your first messages and your button to go play store when you click on this button as you can see it redirects you to the google play store of your clash of clan application link as you can see you open clash of, and from here you can install your application as well and click this one to close so this as you can see it is very simple and easy to do so thanks for watching guys i'll be coming up with the next video which i'm going to talk about many important things and features of android applications so so till then bye bye